Welcome back to the Wizard's Yacht. Today is a sad day in the Car Wizard's history. This is going to be going away. Let's get started. For you guys that have followed along and been with the channel for quite a while, you've seen all the videos where we bought this thing as a disaster. It was completely, it was on the brink of complete death. And we brought it back to its former glory. It is a beautiful, fully operational boat, yacht, whatever you want to call it. It is in very good shape. But I've been taking on a lot of more filming projects with car issues, car trek, YouTube, more, all kinds of things, so much so that we came down here three times this year to see the boat. And it's probably time that someone takes possession of it that can use it a lot more than we do, rather than it just set here month after month after month. Me and Mrs. Wizard do projects, that's what we do. We buy things that are needing a lot of help. We bring them back to life, we sell them, and go buy another project. We actually have another one in the works at the moment. You will have to subscribe, make sure you subscribe if you want to see what it is that we buy. It's, it's already actually happening as we speak. We'll take a look around the boat. We'll talk about some of the things we did. If you're actually interested in buying it, contact us. We have OmegaAutoClinic.com and we can discuss possibly selling it to you. But without further ado, let's go ahead and move to the forward part of the boat. It has recently had a bottom job. You can see the nice paint along the bottom. It's got marine grade bottom job paint. It's not just any old paint. And as you can see, it's very clean. You guys remember when we got this thing, it was a disaster. It was like some, it had been through a sandstorm with spider webs and dirt. It was gross. Very, very gross. I think that we spent probably the first month or two just cleaning. We, we weren't even working with the mechanicals or getting it on the water. It was just getting the trash out and cleaning all the gunk and a defunct marine toilet or a head that had failed. It was still, it was one of those that at like an RV or whatever where it holds the waste in the toilet and it was full and had been there for two or three years. It was, I actually gagged throwing it out. It was gross. So that gives you an idea of how nasty this thing was when we first got it. But doesn't it look beautiful now? It sails very nicely. It can get up to about 20, 25 miles per hour and cruise all day long. It's a very happy boat again. It was very sad when we got it, but it is very, very happy now. Let's go ahead and move to the inside. One thing that's going to be an awesome selling point for this boat is it's not been cut up, gutted, and modernized to the 2000s with marble countertops and all that garbage. I would say 90% of the interior is the way it was in 1974 when this boat was built. It has all the beautiful wood panels and wood trim and everything that came with it when it was new. The windows are also original. We did add these curtains to kind of block the light and they, they're kind of a nice style. They look nice. They, they don't detract from the, the beauty of the woodwork and everything. We did have to add a refrigerator. We did make a little cubby hole for the microwave so at least we would have a microwave. The original stove is right here and it's all functional, it all works, we just never used it. Microwaves do everything we need to do. If you guys remember, another disgusting fact is that there was two years worth of spoiled, nasty food that had been through winters and summers, froze and unfroze and just all over the countertop it was full. Like I mentioned, we spent the first month or more getting rid of garbage in here. It was like somebody took actual garbage out of a dumpster and just neatly stacked it all inside of here. It was bad. Actually, the marina had disconnected power to the boat because the person had stopped paying their slip rent. It's amazing, it didn't sink in those two years. It, it had no bilge pumps because they weren't. there was no power. There was nothing, the batteries were dead. It, I don't know, it's amazing that it didn't sink, but that's a testament to how good the boat is. Even being so neglected and basically abandoned, it still didn't sink and it came back to life very nicely. So that's one thing we definitely enjoyed about this boat. It's like a time capsule. We would step onto the boat and it's like stepping back in time to 1974, or at least the 1970s. There were several boats that we looked at online or something that were 70s boats. We were looking for a classic vintage boat and you would look inside the interior and it would look like a 1990s or a 2000s apartment inside and we're just like, 
that's gross, bro. You ruined that boat. And you know, when people gut things, whether it be RVs or boats or different things, and they try to add their own style to it, it's sometimes very tacky and very bad, and a lot of them were. Typically when we get a project or buy a vehicle, we like to keep it in its era. Just like the 1968 Lowliner from Aristocrat, it was the little camper trailer that you could pull behind. It was a single axle little trailer. You guys have seen a video on it. We could have gutted it and brought it back to modernize styling, but we didn't. We left it stock the way it was in the 1960s. Also the 90s Bayliner that we had for a while, we didn't gut it as well. We left it looking like the 90s. And the next project that's currently in the works, I won't mention anything other than it's from the 50s, the late 50s. No, we're not going to gut that either and put marble countertops and things. It's going to look like it's from the 50s. So you definitely want to tune in and watch that. It's going to be the next thing coming up. So let's head to the rear bathroom, or also called in marine terminology, the aft head. I'm so proud of you, wizard. You've definitely learned your marine terminology with our time with the boat. Yep. This is the aft cabin. This is actually kind of like the master bedroom of the boat. This is where me and Mrs. Wizard slept. It has twin Chrysler 400 big blocks under each bed. It's kind of strange the way it's arranged, but if you pull apart the bed and pull the panels off, there's an engine right here and also an engine over here. They're very powerful. When you give it to full throttle, it just pulls the boat on plane very quickly. There's no hesitation at all. They both run perfectly. They always fire right up. The transmissions, the velvet drive transmissions are very good. They shift just fine. And they have V drives, which are also in perfect shape. The props are in good shape. Everything's in good shape. So as we move into the aft head, you can remember when we first got the boat that the countertops were disgusting. They had pops and different drinks that had frozen and then exploded and melted all over the countertop and it took so long to get it cleaned up. But now it has a proper toilet in there and not the kind that has its own reservoir or own holding tank. It's a standard toilet for these. And as you can see the decor is also 1970s. It has not been gutted. You guys can also remember that we have filmed a lot of videos right here on the boat. Buy this not that or various different videos right there in that seat or maybe here on this little sofa, which is also original. This has not been reupholstered. This is original 1974 fabric. Behind me is the forward cabin. It's kind of like a V-shaped bed inside of there. It has its own little AC unit and it is an also in very good shape. This boat can technically sleep six people, but five definitely comfortably. Two in the back, two in the forward cabin, and one or two right here, this little bench area folds out into a bed. It's really nice. Here is the forward head. Inside of there is the bathroom. We didn't have to do a whole lot in there. We didn't have to change the toilet out or rip anything apart. It's pretty much the same way as when we got it. Everything was functional. We just cleaned it up really nicely. So let's head on up to the helm. The helm is pretty much original as well. You can see we had the eyes and glass up to protect it over the winter in case it doesn't sail to the spring. And Mrs. Wizard did add some deck boxes. You can see behind me, they also have storage, but you can put cushions on them and sit on them for more seating area. And you remember the driver's seat, or I don't know, the boat captain seat, whatever you want to call it, the pilot seat. It was disgusting. And now it's all stark white and pretty. It took a lot of cleaning to get that clean as well. The gauges and switches are all stock. The fuel gauges do not work. I did install a Gobius system that needs to be calibrated yet, but otherwise the fuel gauges do not work. Everything else works just fine. So we've actually spent today clearing out the boat. We've got all our personal belongings and things. We've got them packed inside. This is Wizard's Maserati Levante. It is quite full. We'll show you guys here in a little bit. It's, a, it's kind of bittersweet to leave the boat. It's kind of sad to leave it. You know, it was very fun. I enjoyed it. With all the scheduling at the shop, everything is so busy anymore with filming and also doing mechanic work. And it's also a four hour drive every time we come down here and four hours back home. It's just got to the point where it's time to let someone else enjoy this boat and we can move on to other things. So, goodbye boat. I hope you go to a good owner and serve that person very nicely on the water. It's really cool that this thing, like I said, it was abandoned. It was left for dead. 
and we brought it back to life again. It's got a second lease on life, and I'm really happy about that. So let's head on up to the Maserati. So we hope you guys have enjoyed the videos on the boat. We've enjoyed the boat a lot. It's kind of sad to leave. We said our goodbyes to it. It's kind of almost a tearjerker, but we got many more cool things to come. It's kind of strange how we could fit a boat's worth of personal belongings in a Maserati. It is filled literally to the roof or the roof, packed. The boat is clean, it is ready for sale, and it will be winterized if there's no takers before winter arrives. If you're curious what kind of tools we use to get that boat back to its former glory, check my Amazon affiliates link in the description below. We get a small cut. We really appreciate it. And make sure to hit the subscribe button because there's another project in the works and it's going to be really sweet. Thanks for watching. Thank you.